Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. It is very early on this Friday morning, Friday before Halloween. So I hope you guys have a very wonderful weekend and a safe and happy Halloween. So this morning, very quickly, I'm just gonna show you how and why I use my Cricut and the print and cut feature to print off photos anytime I need to put a photo in a frame. This gives you a great option to make sure you always have a centered picture and to have very nice, even edges. And this is especially helpful anytime you have an odd shape or a smaller picture frame. So I already have my my pictures that I'm going to use in uploaded into Design Space. So I'm going to just go in and pick the ones that I'm going to use. So I am going to do two like odd shapes circles just to show you what I'm talking about. And then the others are just going to be regular five by sevens. Okay. So let's do our circles first. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to pick a shape and that is going to be my circle. And I'm going to edit it because this circle, I want it to be four inches. All right, now, I just wanna get everything at a good working size here. So I'm gonna just kind of move all of this around and that way I can put it together and then bring it all up. Now, so what I mean, if I, so say this is my picture and this is the piece that I'm working with. If I was just gonna take this out of my picture frame, I would put it over it and my only choice is I could do this or this or whatever. But if I'm gonna use print and cut, I have the choice. If I want, I could make this smaller. And so now I could go over and I could cut it this way, right? And get the whole thing in. Oh, you know, it doesn't, it, my sides are a little, little short. If I wanted, I could widen it out. It might make my baby look a little bit bigger, you know, but depending on the picture, I have the choice, but you know, here, okay, well now I know I can make it fit a little bit better. So, you know, I can just move my picture around until I get what I feel good with. So now I'm going to put, I'm going to, you know, put a box around both of them and I'm gonna go to actions and then I'm gonna hit slice. So now I pull all this apart and I get rid of that, I don't need that and now I have this perfect picture to be able to put in my photo frame. And I got what I want of it. So now I'm gonna do one more circle. So I'm gonna go back to circles. I mean to shapes, I'm gonna do a circle. So again, I'm gonna make this Four. All right, so I have my, my picture. So I can move my picture up and down to decide how much of it I wanna be able to get in. So which is really nice, whereas if 
again, I was just taking it from the frame onto a picture, tracing it and cutting it, I don't have that option. So that is, that is the reason why this is, you know, such a nice idea. So I'm going to highlight both of them. I'm going to go to actions. I'm going to slice. And now that can fit in my round frame nicely and perfect. Now, so for this one, I just want this to be five by seven. So I'm gonna hit edit. So that makes it five by seven and a half. I'm gonna unlock it and make this seven. So five by seven. And I wanted this whole thing, like I'm good with that. Okay, so on these two, let me show you. So, so I want five by seven, but what if I don't want some of this, this size of these, right? So I can, again, do a shape. So I could do a square and I can make my square, I can go to edit and I can make my square five. I can unlock it and make it by seven. So now my score is five by seven. That's what I want my picture to be. So then I can make, I make this a little bigger. I'm gonna lock that. So make this a little bigger. And now I can do the same thing. So I make this, if I wanna decide what I want in there, again, same thing. Now I'm just going to actions. Again, I'm gonna slice. And I don't have all that outside stuff. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now I'm just gonna move this picture around. And then I could also, if I want, I could Turn this picture. I'm going to slice. So now I, I have got my pictures exactly the way I want them, but I got their, the correct sizes, but I got to choose which piece of the picture was going to be in the center. And now everything is nice and centered. And then, so from here, I would just hit print and and then send this to my printer and print and cut as I normally would. And there you go. Simple as that. All right, listen, I hope it was helpful. I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day and I'll see you later, friends. Bye.